but there's no point blaming myself in this affliction. It's what I do with my dented and broken mind that counts. I have suffered from suicidal ideation for decades, and I've managed postpartum psychosis without much medical support. How was this possible? Through art and through creativity. And I faced my own battles since relocating to Malaysia. Since I'm not on medication, I must cycle each day to keep well. And there are not many places that I can cycle safely. But now I've been banned from cycling in my condo. And even though I tried to explain to them my condition, they were like, no, you can't cycle. You wouldn't do this to a disabled person. So why do it to someone with a mental health condition? Sometimes I think I need to wear a t-shirt and say, I have a mental health condition. Please show some compassion. And please get your internet to work. Because I feel like I've been surprised. Right, please, it's 
still from my film, uh, White Wall, which I urge you to see, which I made when I was pregnant. And it's about a little girl with mental health problems. So, you know, it deals with Fred, who's the voice in my head. Let's show them Fred. Come on, keep going, Fred. Like, like, this is like all the work that I do. I relate to people that are marginalised, so I paint homeless people. This is a guy in the court who I thought was like oh. the coolest dude. I mean, look at his hat. And I paint homeless people because a lot of homeless people have got mental health problems. And so I go up to them and I talk to them and I say, I want to paint you because your face, your pet, I can feel your pain. Right, keep going, keep going. Um, uh, right. so, yeah. so this is a painting of Fred. This is what I'm living with. This is the person in my head that's telling me, you're worthless, you should die, go and jump. This is what I'm dealing with. In January of this year, I was told to uh, uh, jump off the building. Okay, this is very normal for me. Don't, do not be alone. This is my reality. But I actually went up there and I, I thought that I was going to jump. So Fred was saying, jump. And I was like, no. Was like, jump. I was like, no. And I looked down and I saw these kids playing in the pool. And I was like, I can't do it because if I jump, I'll mess up their lives and I can't do it. And then um, I had to pick up my children. I called my husband, and my husband said, go pick up the kids. And I was like, I'm not in a fit state. And he said, go pick up the kids. So I, I went and, and picked up the kids, and I broke down in the mall. And I said to my son, because I, I had to educate my children about mental health since we were that high, because we've been failed by the mental health services. So we've had to work together, and I've had to tell them about Fred. And I said, Fred told mommy to jump. And he said, he said, mommy, never, 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 never listen to Fred. Fred made fire in your head, and we need to find an ice cube to cool your brain down. That is a five year, five years old. He's five years old. We can educate our children about mental health. Right. Next one. Next one. Next one. I've got five minutes. Um, right. Ah, uh, he's so like me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, this one, this one, this one. So this one I did when I was 13 years old. So even then I had that facility to do art as well as coping because I had a lot of childhood trauma which I'm not going to go into because it will just freak you out what I've gone through. And But because I have not let that pain crush me, I've made it turn me into a warrior. So I have that facility and all my life people have been trying to break me, they've been trying to break me. And a lot of people with mental health problems, it happens because people try to break them from when they're small. And even when I was small, I was like, Oh, you say no, then I say yes. That's something that I've learned because I felt this innate sense of injustice. Why are people trying to crush me? Why are people abusing me? Why? And if we can teach our children to be robust, they will be able to fight this. Next one, next one. I think I've only got a few minutes. I want to show you, I want to show you the scroll. No, I want to show you this. Right. This is a, a book cover that I did, and um, it's called The Day, Day in the Mind. So we've been asked, mm -hmm. all these people with mental health problems have been asked to uh, write about a day in their head. So I designed this book cover. It's a collaboration with my children. They often choose these little crazy objects and ask them to draw them. This one, come on, come on. I want people to get into my world. No, 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 up, 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 up. Just stick with me. Right, this one. Since the psychosis, I started writing really, 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 really small. And yeah, that is my handwriting. Yeah, it's freaky. But that is, that is how I write, and that is because of my brain. But also, I don't want people to read what's coming out of my head. Right, next one. Next one. Um, this, this, this one. No, no, no. Oh yeah, this one, this one. There's too much, that's the thing, there's just too much. This is one of my scary self-portraits. I've been drawing myself since I was 11 years old, and it's showing the different psychological landscapes, um, you know, the different guises. This one, this one, this one. Right, this is an image from one of my scrolls. It's 30 huh. foot long. This one took five years to do. It's an epic piece of work. Next one, next one, next one. Oh, 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 no, 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 that one, that one. Yeah, so that's the painting of Fred. So it's always the thing of Fred trying to eat me. He's always trying to eat me. He's like, I'm going to eat you, I'm going to crush you. So he, the, the, I have like different alter egos. There's Fred, he's like the devil. There's Sophie, the dreamer. Uh, there's Maya, the dreamer. And then there's me, the, the quiet intellectual. Right, next one. Uh, this is a project that I'm doing. It's the 1000 postcard project. But I'm doing, oh, and I've been doing, um, my children do the squiggles and then they choose Lego figures and we transform them. Just two more images and then I'm done. Um, I want to show you, yeah, I also do work about war because I think a lot of the wars that are going on are caused by internal um, conflict. So, you know, it, it, there's a link. A lot of the people that are committing these atrocities are actually probably mentally ill. So, so we need to think of a link between that. 